The long now, and the clock of the long now, is about planning for the long term and thinking in the long term. In a world in which people appear to be thinking in the shorter and shorter term, not even necessarily at this point about things that will take them to the end of their lifetime, which at least at one point you would have thought people would go, well, you know, I'll be dead before that's a problem. Looking around now at the mess that we're making of things on this planet, you want to go to people, you know, actually you won't be. You will still be around. We could run out of water, you'll be here. <laughs> Having to figure out what to do with no water. What to do when the oceans are screwed up. What to do when Twitter finally becomes sentient. <laughs> Tom Sebo concluded you couldn't actually create a story that would last 10,000 years. You could only create a story that would last for three generations, for ourselves, for our children, and for their children. But what we can do, I think, is try and create stories that are interesting enough and important enough that our grandchildren might want to tell those stories to their grandchildren. Because that's the purpose of stories. It's what they're for. They make life worth living, and sometimes they keep us alive. Thank you.